Hey guys, welcome back to the Subtle YouTube channel. Today we are doing the trending latte makeup look and this is how it turned out. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. So I am super excited to play around with this look. I've been seeing it all over TikTok and it's just a super, super pretty, bronzy, glowy trend. I've got my coffee here with me in honor of latte makeup. All right, so let's get into it. So I did start with a sunscreen base. I used this Super Goop Glow Screen mixed with a tinted mineral foundation. So that gives just like a nice sticky, glowy base. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. My shade is Deauville. Since this is a super bronzy look, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add concealer as kind of like a bronzy contour underneath the foundation. This is called underpainting. Look into it, it's a super great, more minimal, natural technique. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Etna as the bronzing base. And you kind of want to do a lot since it is going underneath your foundation. A little bit here, bronze up the edges of the face, a little bit on the nose. And I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that with this beauty blender. And yes, this looks super messy, super crazy but I promise it'll be better once I put on foundation. Also just make sure, especially if you're using like a cream bronzing or contour that it stays on better. I'll probably add a little bit on top too, but I just really like this technique. Okay, like I said, crazy, very bronzed. Gonna go over it with the foundation. So I use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Deauville. I probably honestly need to get a shade darker for summer and like mix it together, but we're working with what we got and we'll just add bronze on top when we need to. I like applying it here. And this is a super lightweight foundation. And I just tap, tap, tap. See, it honestly covers a lot of the crazy bronzing, but it peeks through just a little bit. And especially when I'm doing a more natural look, I like to leave my nose uncovered when it comes to foundation because I have freckles and I just find that when I cover up my nose, it just looks very unnatural and makes me kind of look like a white sheet. So I like to leave it and it works pretty well. I think we're good for foundation. I am gonna go ahead and go back in with the concealer in Etna because it really covered a lot of it. I always forget that you need way more than you think. So I'm just gonna add some back in. I really have been liking using this concealer in place of bronzer or in addition to it. I don't know, it just has a super pretty color. And I feel like for the latte makeup trend, it's just Perfect, so I'm just gonna lightly tap that in. Now I'm gonna go in with my regular concealer. My color here is Arlington, and I'm just gonna cover up my under eyes. There's honestly just so much that you can do with this concealer, and actually the last video I just did, I will pop it up right here, is all about the different ways that you can use our concealer. So definitely check that out. As you guys know, we don't have a foundation. I did use a foundation today but if you're looking for a lighter makeup look or a faster makeup look our concealer works great just as kind of a pseudo foundation because it's super lightweight and spreadable so I love that about it maybe a little bit on the eyelids as a base I am just gonna do my eyebrows because I want to even out the face before I do my eyeshadow sometimes it just helps me with the look. I'm using this Benefit brow pencil. I also definitely need to pluck my eyebrows, but oh well, bushy brows are in, right? I don't want the brows to be too crazy, just super natural. Now I'm gonna get into the eyeshadow. I'm super excited for this part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Dune. This is our brown duo. I absolutely love it. And this makes a great eyeliner too. So I'm gonna use it for that. I'm also going to play around with Nectar. It's just kind of this really pretty bronzy honey color. And for brushes, I'm going to use this dual ended brush as well as this tiny little one. This is perfect for eyeliner or if you don't 
don't have eyebrow pencil or anything, you could use this too. These are part of our four piece brush set. I absolutely love these. There's a few different ways that we could go about this, but I'm just gonna start with the brown color in this dune as an eyeliner and kind of smoke it out and go from there. I'm just like pushing the edge of this into the brown. It's super pigmented, so it's great for an eyeshadow and stays all day. I'm gonna go ahead and go in, mostly on the corner here. You can be pretty messy with it since we're gonna blend it out. And then I'm just kind of taking it up here, kind of like a winged liner situation. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm trusting the process. Okay, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna blend it out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna use this brush to blend it up and out. It's blending out, it's, it's working. I would be a lot better at blending this if I didn't have my lashes, but okay, I feel like this is actually off to a really good start. This is what I love about Settle's eyeshadows. Like, so many of Settle's products are amazing, but the eyeshadows are so good because they're so pigmented but they also blend out really nicely and that's really hard to find. I'm gonna do this on the other side so that it matches. I'm just obsessed with this color. It looks so good. And now we're gonna blend this. Oh my God, blending it out. Okay, go in little circles up and out. Again, if I didn't have lashes, this would be a lot easier, but I have to kind of go slow. I don't mess my lashes up. I'm gonna add just like a little bit more color on the very corners. I don't think I've ever found brown eyeshadow that was like so easy to work with. Next, because of the whole latte trend, I kind of see it as this like brown golden swirled together caramely look. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color. Just kind of put it in the crease. Start here. Oh my gosh. I'm excited for this. I'm kind of stopping here and going up and out. I don't know about you guys, but like if I have somewhere really fun to go, I love just like setting aside an hour, setting up in front of the mirror, like on the floor, like I'm in high school with a good podcast and just playing with makeup. It's so much fun to me. There's nothing more fun than like being able to play around with an eyeshadow look when you have a lot of time and somewhere fun to go. I think we need to add like more brown just because this whole latte look is like very brown and dark. So I'm gonna add some more here, just in kind of the corner, blending it up a little bit. I think I need like a big fluffy brush to kind of blend it all together. So I'm gonna actually use this one from the four piece brush set. I know that sounds crazy, but I think it works. Now that we have kind of the main colors, I'm debating which shimmer to use. I think I'm gonna use this one. That's more of like a honey golden color. <laughs> With shimmer, you always wanna tap it off so that it doesn't fall all over your face. I probably should have done this first, to be honest. Ooh, that's super pretty. I feel like this looks a lot lighter on camera than it is in person. I'm gonna go back in and add just a little bit more of the dark brown liner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it underneath my eye too. Obviously that's Fairly intense, so I'm gonna blend this out as well. I'm gonna use my finger to smudge it a little. And then lastly, I'm just kind of playing around at this point, but I am gonna add this shimmery color from Dune on the outer corner. Ooh, that's super pretty. I think I'm gonna add this to the whole lid. And then later I'm gonna like add the highlight to the inner corner. I'm gonna add just like a little bit underneath the eye too of the shimmer, just kind of in the middle. And then I'm gonna go back in and just touch up with concealer under my eye. I really should have done eyeshadow first, so lesson learned for next time. Luckily, makeup is very forgiving. You can always go back in and just touch it up. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up these edges a little too. Okay, I'm loving this eye look. And honestly, it's a lot darker off camera. I don't know why it's kind of showing up really light here on camera, but it looks really good, trust me. So now we're gonna finish up the rest of the face. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Lip and Cheek and Mauve, just because this is a good natural color. I'm not gonna use too much, because this is supposed to be more of a 
bronzed look. So I'm just gonna use the finger, apply it here, apply a little bit under the eye. Honestly, mauve is just my go-to. It goes with everything and it looks really good on both the lips and the cheek. I'm just gonna put like a little bit here and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the lips too. Gotta go ahead and bronze up the face just a little bit more now that I've added the lip and cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Chai. I'm gonna use this brush from the four piece set to apply it. And when I'm doing bronzer, I like to use a really big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna kind of use this one to just marry it all together. Get some up on the forehead. And I'm really using a lot because we have this latte look. It's supposed to be super bronzed. So I'm going crazy with the bronzer. It's like we're in high school again. <laughs> okay, so I wiped my lip and cheek off. We're gonna redo the lips because I need a really like kind of nude bronzy look. So I'm gonna use Dusty Rose as a lip liner with this same brush. I kind of wiped it off that I used for the eyeshadow. So same thing, you can just like dip in there and then apply it as a lip liner. And we're overlining just a hair and kind of blending it on these outer corners. And then I'm going to use a gloss in the middle. So I'm using Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm. And this is actually colored too. But it's blending really nicely with this dusty rose lip and cheek there we go that's it that's the lip i needed all right and then lastly i do need just a little bit of highlight i was gonna add that to the lid just where the light would naturally hit as well as the inner corners i'm gonna add this to the nose and i'm gonna go in one last time with a little bit of extra bronzer just because we can't have enough bronzer for this look. Add some to the tip of the nose where you would get super bronze. And I almost forgot shine control powder just to lock it in. I'm gonna use this little triangle puff just in the corners here. Okay, here is the final look. I had a lot of fun. I know that took a little while, but sometimes I like just taking my time and playing around with things. And I love how this look turned out. It's super bronze, just super well blended. And I hope you guys will try this because I'm kind of obsessed. It's a fun new look. It's more brown. It kind of reminds me of like 90s supermodel vibes. So let me know if you guys will be trying this or if there's any other makeup trends that you want me to try out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out our TikTok. You might see me on there as well. Thanks. Bye guys.